This is going to be calibrating the handheld refractometer. First off, take out your handheld refractometer. And you've got this cover piece. It's got its prism. Um, it's got its eyepiece that you'll be looking through. And it might be, well, mine's pretty clear. If it's not clear, you can rotate this eyepiece to bring it into focus. And so, because you want it in as focus as much as possible. Um, and you'll note uh, that at least mine and many of these come with a little screwdriver adjustment. The screwdriver adjustment is underneath here. This little uh, rubber piece comes off. And most of them come uh, well calibrated, but it's always good to check. And uh, mine also comes with its own pipette. So let's move that away. I've got some of the water that I use to make coffee with. And I'm gonna go ahead and place two or three drops. On the prism, I don't know if you can see it there. Nope. Well, I don't want to run it under my computer. So I'm going to place it actually at the top of the prism and then squish it down from the top. And actually, if you place more than two or three drops, a drop or two will come off. Now I'm going to look at it. And sure enough, uh, this is a new one. It gets right at 1.333. You can see uh, too, well, actually, I could make a tiny adjustment on mine. But part of what you get out of this too is you can see where that line is because you can see the light to dark transition. Let's see if I can hold this up. Such a way that you can see it. This is tough. There you go. So you can see that it's right, it's actually good, right at the 1.33, and you can see the light below it and the dark above. That's good. No, I keep saying it's good. Well, you can see it's just on the edge of the blue. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix mine a little bit. That was the wrong way. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now that transition is right on. Oh. Come on, my camera. Right on that. I raised it a little. Cool. So now it's calibrated. Now, if you look, at least in mine, I have to pick up the foam piece and under it is a cloth and the operation manual. The cloth is what we're gonna need because anytime you wipe this, you're going to want to, you're gonna to wanna to wipe it with one of these cloths, microfiber cloths that you would use for glasses because you do not wanna scratch your prism. And I mean, you can actually use a paper towel on the cover piece, that part doesn't matter. But on the prism, please do always use your cover piece. Now put it away for now. Put the screwdriver away, the pipette away, and put the microfiber cloth away.